Uh, welcome to this comparison video between the uh, FreeBuds 3 and the FreeBuds Pro. So let's start first of all with the case. So what we have here right now is uh, the two cases of the uh, earbuds. What you can see uh, and feel also is that the FreeBuds 3 case is thinner. You can see it here from the side. The FreeBuds Pro has a thicker case and also in general a larger case you can see it is like a bit more stretched out here this is more round and pill shaped and we have a usb type c and a little led here that you probably can't see Maybe you hold it in the sun or in the light a bit you can see that there's a, a little hole for the led and on the back we have the huawei logo and a flap to open it up and the earbuds itself with a nice little LED that shows the power stages and also if it is just in connection mode like uh, in uh, pairing mode or not and the earbuds itself. So this is the FreeBuds 3 and this is the uh, case for the FreeBuds Pro as you can see here same Huawei logo on the back same mechanism to open it up basically same USB type C and little LED. What I forgot to mention on the FreeBuds 3, here in the front there's a uh, charging coil for G charging, so you have G charging here, and the same goes for the FreeBuds Pro. And if you open up, we miss the earbuds. Oh, I have them in my ear. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so here you can see we have also an LED here. Uh, displaying the status of the uh, charging and also if it's in pairing mode or not. And you can see here the earbuds are placed differently inside the ear. So you can see that both have the left on the left, left on the left and the right on the right. So if I put it out, you can see I pull it out like this. You can see this is slightly dirty left uh, version. There's no indicator that this is left. Uh, besides, there's really no indicator. <laughs> I thought there's some stitching here, I think, on the black bottom. No, there is nothing that indicates that this is the left, but this is the left earbud. You can see the, the style of the earbud, a round stem here with microphone hole on the bottom and uh, here also there should be like wind filtering and so on inside of this but uh, it doesn't really work i have to say especially if you have anc activated the wind uh, can blow off the anc literally so so much wind is blowing through this little hole that uh, or i don't know where probably there's another uh, opening here on the top that is probably also like um, used for ANC. In any way the ANC is like uh, cut off if there's too strong wind and you're running around on the street. Then we have like here the open fit design as you can see here with a large I think 14 millimeter driver inside and you can hear it and you have to hear it the 14 millimeter driver. Uh, everything smaller would have like been not loud enough. In this case this is very loud. Yeah it's a long uh, stem as you can see and in comparison now to one of the uh, Huawei FreeBuds Pro also take the left one first of all we can see there is a marking for L for left which is missing here completely uh, then we can see it's an in-ear design you can see this is the thing that you put in the tip that you put into your ear it's not going too deep in the ear it's just sitting at the opening and uh, then we have a sensor here black we have the same sensor here uh i'm not sure if you can see it it's not this one this is like a loudspeaker as well we have the loudspeaker integrated here i'm not sure if you can see this maybe here if I hold it like this there's a loudspeaker integrated and the rest or one part of the black thing is the indicator for do you have them on or you don't have them on and you can also have this here uh, as well there's a little uh, sensor that detects if you wear those earbuds or not 
yeah this is a very light design this is a bit heavier and a bit bigger and bulkier here than this as you can see and of course the stem is a lot shorter and more uh yeah uh squared so it's a square design that fits in probably a bit of a bigger battery than in this round design because you have to yeah just imagine that this round design doesn't have like a round battery but uh, has like a square battery somewhere uh, and yeah in this round design of course you have a lot of uh, free space then if you have a square battery and here i think lots and lots of stuff is a battery actually and you can see also a different design when it comes to the microphones they're not on the bottom anymore so you can see here we have the contacts for charging here and instead we have holes on the side that probably also are microphone holes as well i think um, and yeah then we have because we don't have a hole here at the, at the top as you can see we have something at the bottom here which we also have here as well and yeah these are the design differences as you can see here between those two earbuds so what i can talk about now is also uh, features in terms of features this one has no touch sensor it only has a vibration sensor i think so if you tap here double on one side it will notice this uh, and yeah you have the option to either tap on the left double and on the right double to do certain uh, things like start stop uh, or answering a call uh, or activating the noise cancellation and you can configure this of course in the uh, app for the FreeBuds, um, the AI Live app. It's the same app for both of those devices. So this is the major difference in terms of usability. There's everything. You have no control over the volume and you don't have any other control of anything else. So this is this. Also, I noticed there's a hole on the outside as well. Probably also a microphone hole for either if you are calling someone and uh, want to record your voice or also noise cancellation and uh, here only those four holes here in the stem are visible and i don't see any other hole um, that might be used for the microphone itself what we have here is a different design in terms of usability so there is now a touch touch sensor on the inside so if you wear it like this this is the inside and you have a touch sensor here it's not very visible on the white version because it just like looks white but on the black version which is like more glossy like this one here you will notice that there's one non-glossy part in the middle here in between the two holes which is like the touch area where you have the option to touch and pinch how Huawei calls it or I would call it squeeze the buds to perform certain actions and this here in the middle basically you squeeze them together to perform different actions and yeah, you have a normal squeezing option for play pause and uh, answering a call you have a double squeezing option for going one track forward or to cancel a call or just not take the call and you have a squeeze and hold option which allows you to also perform different settings by default it is like switching between the ANC and awareness modes and of course uh, t uh, turning them off so these are the controls here and these are the big differences between those two devices in terms of uh, how you use them and how they look like now let's take a look a little bit and talk about the sound quality and how they differ in terms of sound quality so let's talk about the sound quality of those two so the freebuds um, free have a very good interesting sound quality so they have very good bass it is not a very punchy bass because it's like an open fit design and uh, the mids are very elevated and as well as the highs are very elevated as well so you have the possibility to really listen to um, all kinds of uh, genre of music and the sound should really really sound very good so i really like those three buds three and the sound quality that comes out of them but because of the open fit design of course bass is a bit lacking so uh, this is one thing that you have to keep in mind when it comes to the three buds three so very good 
sound quality FreeBuds 3. When we take a look at the FreeBuds Pro, they are very good when it comes to bass. So because of the in-ear design, not the open design, they can bring a very punchy bass. And what lags is a bit of the mids. They are a bit softer, they're a bit muddier. And the highs especially are really a bit muffled. And you can hear this especially in songs where especially women voices are like muffled a bit. It is something that you don't notice if you just wear them normally and listen to your songs. They will be very good as well. Really, really good. But the comparison with the FreeBuds 3 show it directly and if you compare them you can hear it directly that the uh, voices especially of women are a bit muffled uh, and highs in general, in general are a bit muffled in the normal default setting. But what you can do and what I found out what works pretty fine for getting almost the same quality as the FreeBuds 3 a little bit less as these are by default not so uh, good for highs and more like uh, warmer and bass heavier is you can go into your settings so if you go into your Huawei settings and you go into the hissing sound effects I have to put one of those in my ear otherwise I have no option to control it I think let's go back here now it's able to control it in your Huawei hissing sound effects so you can see I'm under sound and vibrations and then I go to Huawei hissing sound effects I have the option to choose the standard which allows me to use an equalizer and in the equalizer I can set up the uh, free buds and so I have no option to save this profile in the earbuds itself the same goes for the uh, free buds free but I have the option to change them so if I have a little bit of bass lacking on the FreeBuds 3 I can always go here and turn the ba uh, bass booster on and if I have problems with treble on the FreeBuds Pro I can simply go into this app and say okay I will raise the frequencies and here you can see the settings that I use for the FreeBuds Pro that work best so the 16 kilohertz uh, option is set to 8 this is set to let me go and show you better like this. This is set to 10, the maximum for the 8 kilohertz. This is set to 6, 4 kilohertz is set to 6, 2 kilohertz is set to 3, and uh, the 1 kilohertz is set to minus 1. And these settings are the settings that elevate the treble a bit, so like uh, women voices, for example, or highs in general sound a little bit more clearer, sound a little bit more familiar if you are a FreeBuds 3 user. So, what's the conclusion? Conclusion: If you want to have good bass, good noise isolation, good uh, ANC, get the FreeBuds Pro. If you want to have, by default, a better sound quality, only for sound itself, though so less isolation, get the FreeBuds Free. And of course, these are, I think, uh, for two different kinds of users. These are like more for commuting and running around where you have the possibility to just hear everything around you still and still listening to music and podcasts and so on. And these are more for music and for uh, traveling in train uh, or um, some other cars or where you have loud voices and you just want to uh, just fade them out with the ANC. You can do this here and even if you don't have ANC enabled and just put them in your ear you have a good isolation of your surroundings already. And of course these are also uh, good for sound listening but have a slightly worse sound quality uh, by default when compared to the FreeBuds 3. As I showed you you can uh, make them sound like the FreeBuds 3 with a little bit of tweaks, almost like the FreeBuds 3 I have to say, with a little bit of tweaks. In general both are very good. If I have to choose between those both, I would choose the FreeBuds Pro for listening to music and um, heavy bass because I like this. But if you don't like this, maybe you're happy with the FreeBuds 3 as well. So that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.